What's up, y'all? Welcome back, Pitch Side with Parker to another daily video. And today we are here to talk about Rafael Varon and the possibility of the center back heading to Manchester United. Now, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here, I post daily soccer content. And if you click around my channel, I'm sure you'll find something you like. And drop a like on this video before we even get started because that's what we do around here. But let's get into the video. So Manchester United are looking for a center back. I mean, that is nothing new. This team has been without a quality center back pairing for years on years at this point. They've tried to fix the problem multiple times, the likes of Harry Maguire, Chris Smalling, and they've just never found the answer. And while they have looked good this season, they've fallen short of Manchester City, and now the plans are starting to build up for what they can do in the summer and how they can strengthen their team to stay competitive in the Premier League. And one of the main spots they're looking at is center back. This comes at the same time as Rafael Veron is in a tricky situation with Real Madrid right now. Madrid want to extend Veron, but he is less than impressed with what they've brought to the table. And his contract runs out at the end of next season. So they're trying to sell him now to get the profit while they can. So he doesn't have the chance to leave on a free that next year. They've offered him a new contract, which even included the chance for him to become captain of Real Madrid since Ramos is leaving this summer. But Varane did not like the sound of it. And supposedly he was unhappy with the pay. And he feels like he should be paid as much as his highest paid counterparts at Real Madrid, which I guess Madrid are not offering. You also have to keep in mind that Madrid are in massive debt. They've been hit super hard by the pandemic like a lot of clubs, and depending on the reports that you read, they're somewhere between 400 and 900 million dollars in debt. And they're still trying to move like Real Madrid. They still want a chance at signing maybe Mbappe or maybe Holland coming up soon. So they've been looking to shift a lot of players, and Varane, although they have offered him a new contract, seeing that he's not willing to take it, they are certainly shopping him, and supposedly they have offered him to Manchester United, according to the Manchester Evening News. So why is Manchester United looking at Veron, and how would he fit at Manchester United? Well, quite simply, if he is available from Real Madrid, he's going to be the best center back on the market. Upamecano has been snapped up by Bayern Munich, and really, there aren't a whole lot of other big names out there. One other is Jules Koundé, who is certainly gathering some looks from his impressive performances at Sevilla. United have had their eyes on Koundé for a while. He's on their short list of center backs. But supposedly they are not willing to pay his over $80 million release clause from Sevilla. And with Madrid in a struggling situation and Veron not wanting the new contract that they've offered him, this does give Manchester United a chance to create some leverage there and perhaps get him for a lower fee than they would get for Koundé. Now in terms of Veron as a player, it's really interesting. I feel like people are just really, really incredibly split on him. I've heard a lot of Real Madrid fans say that they have been not impressed with him and that he does not have what it takes to carry a team, especially when he's without Sergio Ramos. That was something we saw towards the end of last season when Ramos was out during their Champions League run and they got knocked out by Manchester City with Veron making some huge mistakes and giving away two goals to Manchester City on just awful mistakes trying to play out of the back. Now, the obvious rebuttal here is that he won a World Cup without Veron by his side. In fact, I believe Umtiti played the most games next to him in the World Cup that year. So, you know, he's done it without players before, but the common thread here, which I do think is really important to consider when you're considering how he fits and how he could slot in at Manchester United, is that he had elite players in front of him at both of those clubs. Casemiro, Cruz, Modric, and then for France, although it was the likes of like Nzonzi and Matuidi alongside Pogba in the World Cup, there's always been really good defensive-minded players and really, really talented players in the midfields in front of him, in addition to the center-back partners that he's had. At United, he would pair with Harry Maguire, and I think on paper it's a great fit because Maguire's biggest weakness is his lack of pace, and Varane is super fast, regardless of his propensity for a mistake. He can make up for it with speed, and he would be a great cover for Harry Maguire. So that's why a lot of fans are interested in him. But as I was saying, United don't have that same level of quality in front of him. And I, I just personally think that it could be a pretty rude awakening for him if he was to actually go to Manchester United and come to the Premier League. And he's got somebody like Fred and McTominay playing in front of him, or even, God forbid, Matic is still 
running on his old legs. He just won't have the kind of cover that he's used to. United do not keep possession the same way that his teams are used to. And I just feel like even if it was going to go well, it would take him some time to adjust. So what is my verdict on this move? Should Manchester United go for it? Should they not? Well, first of all, I have some very selfish reasons that I really do not want this move to happen. And primarily that is because I am a foothead. I play a lot of FIFA and this dude is an absolute nightmare. And if they gave him an ultimate team card that would actually link to Premier League players as well, oh, I, I do not want to see the day that that happens. But if you see me using him in my team, mind your damn business. But seriously, in real life, I have mixed feelings about this move. I'm not, I don't think it's as surefire as a lot of Manchester United fans think this is. As they've been linked, I've seen a lot of fans get really excited about it, and they love the idea that he would compliment Maguire and that they could play off each other really well. But I am seriously concerned about Varane's ability to play without so many quality players around him. Also, I just don't think Harry Maguire is very good at all. I think there's a chance that if they do sign him, and they've invested serious money in Varane, they might actually pair somebody else with him at center back. I don't really buy into the whole of them complimenting each other thing that much, because in my eyes, it's really just sticking Varane with a bad center back. And in the past, that has not gone great at Real Madrid. However, as I said at the beginning, Real Madrid are in a really tough position with Varane, and that is what makes this deal very enticing. So if United are able to get him on a little bit more of a bargain, Chances are they will probably have to pay pretty high wages no matter what they sign him for because that's what he's asking for in Madrid. But if they can chop a few million, you know, even 10, 20, 30 million off of the transfer fee that he would have cost a year or two ago, this could be a good bargain for them. And chances are they'll get him for cheaper than Harry Maguire. And as I said, I think he's at least levels in compared to him. That being said, Real Madrid are not idiots. And I mean, the last time they dealt with Manchester United, they sold on Di Maria for United's club record fee of, I think it was 60 million pounds at the time. So we all know how that went. And I don't think that they're going to take a cheap offer right away when it comes to Varane. As desperate as they are to make some money and as desperate as they are to get rid of him while he still holds some value, this is going to cross United a, a pretty penny. He is the best center back on the market. He's in his prime and you're going to have to pay the premium, especially for a Premier League team to get him in. So for me, considering this can be a massive money move and I'm not totally sold on how he would fit, I would probably stay away from this one. But look, if they've got the cash to splash, you might as well do it and see how it works because you're not going to find a better option on the market. And there is potential that this could become a very, very good back line if it works out for them. And if he finds his form that he found with France and with Madrid throughout their Champions League runs. But yeah, that's all for this video. Be sure to leave a like on it if you didn't already and subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. I'm doing daily content, pushing it out for y'all. So if you ever have any ideas on videos to make, be sure to drop them in the comments. Let me know what you want to hear more of and uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter as well at Parker Kate Johnson. And yeah, that's all for this one. I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.